Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make three of our favourite cocktails for weddings this summer. So if you're looking for an alternative for your guests instead of champagne for your drinks reception, then check out some of the cocktails that we love. So first up we've got something blue which is definitely my favourite. For this you will need white rum, fresh limes, cane syrup, mint leaves, blueberries, crushed ice and soda water. First of all, you pour your cane syrup into a glass, then add some mint, gently press the leaves using a muddler or the end of a spoon, add the blueberries and give them a bit of a squash, add the rum, the lime juice and stir, then top up with some ice, swizzle that about, add some soda water and some blueberries in the top just to finish it off. So this one's a really refreshing, tasty drink. And the blueberries are a great addition to make it slightly different from the usual mojito that everyone's used to. The next cocktail is called Bee's Knees, which is a special one for Fleur because that used to be her childhood nickname. This is actually a Prohibition era cocktail, so something from the 1920s. So if you're going down that kind of theme for your wedding, this would be an awesome addition. So for this one, all you need is gin, runny honey, water and fresh lemon juice. You stir the honey into the water until it's dissolved to make a syrup. Then you pour it into a cocktail shaker with the gin, lemon juice and a couple of ice cubes. Give it a really good shake and then strain it into your cocktail glass. That's it, super simple and tastes delicious. So our final cocktail is the Just Married Gin Punch. Now this works really well as just a normal cocktail but also is great as a big punch. So for this cocktail, you will need gin, de bonnet, pomegranate juice, lemonade, Angostura's bitters, ice, and pomegranate seeds to garnish. So the recipe for this one is done in parts, which makes it really easy to scale up if you're making a big punch instead of just a single cocktail. Into your cocktail shaker, add two parts dry gin, one part de bonnet, one part pomegranate juice, and two parts of lemonade. Add the Angostura's bitters to taste. Don't add too much because this is quite strong. Then add ice cubes and shake. Pour it into your cocktail glass and garnish it with pomegranate seeds. I've also added a few rose petals to the top just to give it a bit of a romantic wedding edge. So I hope you like the video and you're feeling inspired to make your own wedding cocktails. It's also a really good Hindu activity, making and trialing cocktails. So you can work out exactly what you love and name them while you're there. You can do comedy names, names after the bride and groom, places they've been to, and you can create a really funky menu to kind of show off your cocktail names as well. So my favorite is definitely the blueberry mojito, which is absolutely yummy. Let me know which one you think you like the look of most and have fun trialing them out. Thanks guys, bye.